today I'm going to be doing a six month update because it has been six months since I came out of hospital because of anorexia. So that is what I'm going to talk about today and I'm going to start with the day that I was discharged. So I was discharged on the 17th of March 2020 and on that particular day was when coronavirus really hit the whole world really and the minute I went home I knew I needed to do a food shop because I'd got no food in my flat and I needed something to eat. There was a lot of people panic buying in the UK so it was really really hard for me to get the food that I needed but nevertheless I got what I needed. I did have to go to quite a few different food shops but I managed to get what I needed and I went home. The first few days were absolute hell for me because I was so used to having staff around me 24 7 patients and suddenly I was in a flat all by myself and we were in lockdown like I couldn't see anybody and I know a lot of people do live alone and when we were in lockdown it was difficult and I'm not saying my situation is any worse I'm just telling you how I felt at the time when I was discharged my plan wasn't to recover my plan was to lose all the weight that I'd restored when I was in hospital because I hated how I looked so that's exactly what I did and do you know what it didn't make me happy it didn't make me feel any better and I just got to the point where I thought do you know what this isn't how I want to live I don't want to live going from one admission to the next like I want to be happy I want a future I don't know what my future is going to be but I know it I don't want it to be this so I started making small little changes each day and over time they became really big changes and I am the happiest that I've ever been don't get me wrong, I've had some days where it's been absolute hell. There's been days where I've cried myself to sleep and I've had really bad body image days. But on the whole, I have been a lot happier. I've experienced so many different things. Like last week, I went back to band for the first time since March. And honestly, I am so happy that I got to go back there. We wrote a song about chaotic otters because that is the type of people we are. But it was brilliant, it was so nice being with everyone again because I really did miss them and music has really helped me. And I've had a lot of support from people in my life. Like when we were in lockdown, my mum would ring me like every single day and she would be there. And it's not the same as her being there physically, but I knew she was thinking of me and I couldn't have got through it without her. My support worker, Sharon, who has now left, she got me through the first few months like honestly without her I would have been back in hospital so thank you for that but most of the work I've done myself like it's me who wanted to get better and I could have all the support in the world but unless you want to get better it's not going to happen like I had so much support in the hospital I had like meal support I had therapy I had different groups I had nurses healthcare assistants I had so much support but I didn't want to get better I just wanted to get out of hospital and lose weight and that isn't a life I don't want to be living like that anymore like life is too short to spend it stressing about calories and weight and it's irrelevant like I am so much happier and I don't know what I weigh I know I've still got a long way to go I'm not medically where I should be but I am happier this way and I think it's down to the nutrition and I know it sounds really cliche and Every dietitian will tell you like food will increase your mood but you don't listen at the time do you? But it's true like I've got so much more energy I'm doing more things I'm meeting people obviously sticking to the Covid guidelines but I'm happier. It is a daily struggle like I do struggle every single day but I push through because I know one day things will be a lot easier and they are a lot easier than they were even two months ago. So I know this video is a little bit rambly but that seems to be how I do things but make sure you're back on Thursday because I've got part two of my story time and I will see you next time.